everyone. Welcome to WeTV. This is Chris and it's I Can Make Time. We always have so much fun making things and today I've got a special Halloween I can make. Today we are going to make that. What is that? I know it's a little creepy. It's a little scary. We are going to make zombie burgers, okay? We're going to make hamburgers and we want them to look like zombies for Halloween. So, how do you do that? Well, let's talk about the ingredients. The first ingredient you need, of course, is ground beef. And I've got my ground beef here. Next, we're going to use some bacon. And these ingredients are important. They're kind of necessary. You might be able to get by without the bacon, but I'll show you why the bacon is going to make it more interesting and more fun. Next, we've got corn. You don't really need the corn, but the corn is very good. I would say the corn is somewhat necessary. You can go without. Then we're going to use hamburger buns, okay? Now we've got some ingredients that aren't really necessary. They're up to you if you want to use them or not. And first is olives. You can use the olives. They would just be to make the eyes more interesting. If you don't want, you don't need olives. That's okay. Next is onion. Again, we're going to use the onion mostly for the eyes just to make it look more interesting. If you don't want, you don't need. And then we have salt and pepper. Salt and pepper just for seasoning. If you don't want to use salt and pepper, that's okay. You may also want to use mustard and ketchup. Now, I really like mustard on my hamburgers and the ketchup will be good because the ketchup will look a little like blood. And since we're trying to make zombie hamburgers, having a little bit of blood will be a good thing. So. How are we going to make our zombie hamburgers? I'm glad you asked. Let's go through the steps. First, we want to put the ground beef in a bowl and then we can add our spices to the ground beef. If you don't want to put any spices in the ground beef, you can actually skip that step. Next, we want to turn the ground beef into hamburger patties. So we're going to squish them down and make them into the shape of hamburger patties. Next, we want to wrap the hamburger patties in bacon. Okay, and we're going to use the bacon to make it look like, like, I guess, zombie skin or to make it look maybe even little like a mummy, either way. Now we want to add the onions, olives for eyes, and we can add corn to be the teeth. You can also use corn for the eyes. And it's good to add these things before you cook them so that they cook in place, okay? You could add the olives and onions afterwards so that um, it's already cooked and then you put them as a garnish at the end. That would work very well. The corn though, if you're going to use corn for the teeth, you should probably do that before you cook so that it cooks into place, okay? After that, we're going to cook the hamburgers in our pan and then we want to serve open style, which means you're going to have the bread and then the burger on top and then the other bread will be off to the side and you'll serve it to your guests that way so that when they look, they see the face of the zombie looking at them. If you put the bread on top, they're not going to see that zombie face. You've put all that work into the show and you don't do the reveal. That's, that's not very good. So you want to serve these open face, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's cook. All right, let's get going. First, going to put my hamburger meat into the bowl. Don't want to eat that. Almost looks like a band. I'm going to use the onion just for more flavor. Let's put the onion into the hamburger meat. Remember, always wash your hands before you cook. Chris washes his hands before he cooks. Always, always. Now I want to add a little mustard. Not too much, just for flavor. Now we have to mix it. So we have to get our hands in here. 
Now that this is mixed, I can start making patties out of this. And just take some hamburger. Think about how big you want your burgers to be. And then you just make them into a patty. So there are my hamburger patties. They look great. And now we need to wrap them with bacon. Uh, I want to wrap the bacon around the burgers, but look at this bacon. It's pretty wide. It's, it's almost the same width as the hamburger. So I need to cut this in half and then use that to wrap the, the burgers. Now, if you're wrapping and it comes like this, you might want to use a toothpick to hold the bacon in place. I'm not going to do that. I'm not too worried about it, but you could. You know what? Let's leave one without bacon, and that way we can just dress it up. So let's start dressing it up. I've got some corn. I'm going to push some corn pieces here into it, and hopefully they will look a little like teeth. Look, I've got these little circle pieces from the onions. I can put them there. And I can even put a piece of corn in there to look a little like an eye. Okay, so this one definitely looks the creepiest. The rest of them, I probably should have trimmed the bacon a little bit more or made them even bigger. I'm still happy. It's still going to be fun. Let's start cooking. If you want a shot of that, it's okay, but this will only take a couple minutes and then we'll do the main event. Pan's a little hot. Let's get our hamburgers cooking now. As you can see, where the bacon is, the hamburger is cooked a little less. So you really need to make sure you cook these things well, if you wrap them in bacon especially. Now the burgers are all cooked and yeah, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed they didn't come out looking as nice as I wanted. But I was ready for that. So let's start with this one. This one has teeth still. I grilled up some little onions that I can now put here. So now it can have eyes. And then of course I have more corn. So I can put the corn in there to be eyes and I can put even more corn here to be teeth. And ta-da, zombie. So let's do the same thing with one of these other ones. Give that one for an eye. We can even use an onion as a mouth. So. You see, it's easy to decorate them afterwards and make them look a little zombie-like. And of course, last is to add some ketchup, okay? And then when you eat it, you can add more ketchup as you like. I just added this ketchup for some color and to make it look weird, creepy. Well, everyone, they may not be so pretty, but they're not supposed to be pretty. They're supposed to be zombies. Zombies are pretty disgusting and ugly, so I think I did a great job in terms of that. They're definitely ugly, and they're fun, and I think they're going to be a lot of fun to share with your friends. I want to thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our I Can Make today, and I'll see you next time on WeTV. Goodbye, everyone.